Good evening and welcome to Taz-tastic Tuesday. By now, many of you all have heard the ridiculously disgusting comments from <sighs> Aries Spears, but if you haven't, trigger warning, fat shaming, and definitely not bo body positivity. Here we go. Oh, you know somebody that actually made good music, man? Lizzo. Lizzo? Yeah, bro. Have you heard her? Yeah. Like as a songwriter, yo. I, I can't get past the fact that she looks like an emoji. She's got a very pretty face, but she keeps showing her body on the, Like, come on, man. Come on, yo. I'm sorry. Listen, I ain't the most in shape in the world. But I still, you know, when you funny and you got swagger and confidence and, and you decent looking, I think I'm at least handsome, you get me. But a woman that's built like a plate of mashed potatoes is in trouble. You know what kills me about women is, is the hypocrisy and the contradiction. Yes, queen, slay, queen. Yes, queen, slay. Yeah, girl, your confidence. Diabetes, heart, heart, heart problems heart disease, cholesterol. Y'all claim womanhood and about sisterhood and support for your sister, you know, when it come to that ridiculous... But if you really gave... Why wouldn't you go, black girl, we love you, we love your confidence, boo-boo, but th this ain't... It. This ain't it. Where's... That's the real love. Y'all would jump on me for making jokes, but y'all want and be real and go, sister, put the eclair down. This ain't it. It's treadmill time. <sighs> the ignorance. The ignorance. Now, Aries has a history of attacking black women. That's nothing new. Uh, I guess when you're not funny, that's what you have to do. Call from inside the house and be a freaking douchebag. Now, he was asked about Lizzo's music, never spoke on her music, and went straight to her body as if he's an Adonis. <clears throat> I wonder how he would feel if somebody was asked about his body of work and they immediately went to the fact that his estranged wife has a restraining order against him and he can't even see his three-year-old child because he went after her his estranged wife with a baseball bat, but I digress. Let's move into what people always try to use to shame the thick madams, the husky hymns, if you will. Talking about health, weight does not equate to poor health. There are people walking around with what society would con consider an ideal body weight and are some of the most unhealthy people you would know. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, heart disease, you name it. Now, encouraging and, and fostering anyone's self-confidence and self-esteem is not a bad thing. If we only lifted up who we individually or who society tells us are attractive and worthy. There would only be like three successful people in the world because they would be the only ones that would have enough confidence to go out and do it. Because somebody is going to find something unattractive in everyone. Nobody is everybody's cup of tea. And Aries is projecting because he definitively isn't anybody's cup of tea, coffee, or milk. He decided to denigrate a highly talented woman who is unproblematic. Because he doesn't like what he sees in the mirror. Because he's envious of her success. And he can't exceed her. So why not try to knock her down a peg? Because when you can't get in the club. 
You complain about the entry fee for the club. You complain about the dress code for the club. You complain that, oh, I don't like the music that they play. That's what he's doing. He can't get into her club. So instead of working harder or befriending her and like, hey, sis, can you teach me how you got this bag? He would rather jump on the historic bandwagon of dumping his insecurities on a black woman. Making her seem undesirable to the masses and undeserving to the masses. Because that's how he feels himself. And rather than heal, learn, and increase his emotional IQ, let's take the easy route and dump on a black woman. Hmm. It's not shocking. It's sadly expected. See, th this is the same type of man that will want a woman to come in to a relationship and split everything 50-50, but not have the income and the intellect to be able to do the 50-50 because that would be emasculating to him. This is the same man that's barely a one, but believes he's deserving of a 10, but has none of the qualifications to even build the leg on the table he wants to sit at with this woman. They always want us to come down to their level and be happy in misery, but never want to come up to ours. Like I always say, what do I know? Until next week.